Now that we're in year three and year four, we now have to think about the times and how they're written. And we're now looking at the minutes. We're looking at all these tiny little dashes all the way around the clock. Each little dash represents a minute. So from here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. This is five minutes past. One, two, three, four, five. Again, these are in little segments of five. Each of these jumps between the numbers is five. But how we read them is, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We know this is 10 minutes past, so if the clock has, the minute hand has moved from the 12 and moved around to the 2, we know that the, it has gone 10 minutes past the 12. That's what the 10 minutes past means. We just don't say 12, but that's what it means. It's 10 minutes past the 12 hand, the 12 number. So it's 10 minutes past 12, and if we keep going on, this is 15 minutes past. So going back to the 10 minutes past, how we write that is, it is going to be the minutes live here on this side of the clock, that's the minutes. And on this side of the clock, we've got the hour. So if I'm to put the hour on this clock, this would be, and I'm gonna pop it over here, um, that is 10 minutes past 10. I might change that because it's going to be a bit confusing. I'm actually going to do 10 minutes past 9. So the hour hand has only just gone past the 10. This hour hand's gone a little bit too far, a bit tricky because I haven't got it attached. But that's 10 minutes past 9. So I'm going to write the 9 there. The hour hand goes in this place. This is the hour. And this is the minute. This is the hour, hour time and minute time. So that's how we read it. So we know it's 10 minutes past. That's telling us 10 minutes. And this is telling us 9. If I was to just, just go and move it a little bit further, and I would move it to here, so that's 10, 11, 12. If I pointed it to there, then that would be now 12 minutes past 9. And I would write 12 minutes past 9. So it's 9, 12. When we move the clock hand right around, say if we get to here and we're pointing, let's say the minute hand is now pointing exactly to this number here. We know that this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. This is 25, 26, 27, 28. This is 28 minutes past. Let's put it up here. Let's make it 28 minutes past. Um, let's make 28 minutes past one. So it's half, the hour hand's halfway, almost halfway between the one and the two. That's 28 minutes past one. How we would write that is, I'm going to do the minutes first, 28. 28 minutes past one o'clock. So the hour, the minutes. Let's move this further around. Let me just pop it on. Let's point it straight to the eight. Let's keep it Oh, let's move the hour hand a little bit. Let's put it between the two and the three. So now my time, and I'm saying it's pointing exactly at that. So when I'm doing the digital, I'm going to do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It's 40 minutes. So I'm going to rub that out, and I'm going to write 40 minutes. But it's not 1 o'clock anymore. It's now between the two and the three, so two owns this space. Up until when it gets to three, then three will own this space, and four will own this space. This space is owned by the two. So anything living between, or anything pointing between the two and the three, is now the two. So I'm going to rub this out, and I'm going to write two. Two. Ah, terrible two. That's 2.40, and that's what that clock says. If I was to change this ever so slightly and move it, let's say, pointing to this one, I'm going to change the hour hand again. I'm going to put the hour hand going this way. I've got this pointing pretty much close to this one here. So if this was 40, this is 41, 42. So now it's 42 minutes. So let's change that. 42 minutes and let's get rid of the hour hand now because the hour hand is not pointing at the two anymore it's living in this space here and the space is between the six and the seven so the six owns this so it's 642 lucky last one i'm going to push it up to here i'm going to make it right up to this one up here 
and I'm going to point it to a different hour time. So the minute hand's really close to the 12. We know that this is 60. Let's count by fives to work out exactly where we are. We can count on 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. It's 58 minutes. It's 58 minutes. And the space where the hour hand is, is, it's no longer at the six, it's between the eight and the nine. It hasn't got to nine yet because it's not right on the nine o'clock. Soon as the minute hand points to the 12, it's nine. But at the moment, just try and point that a little bit off, it's actually at, in the eight space. So let's put that as eight. So it's 8.58. Um, you're going to be doing those kind of things. There is one other sheet there which is for um, time elapses. One clock is showing one time and then another clock another time and that's take it. you need to tell us how long that time elapse is. Anyway, good luck with those sheets. I hope that makes it a little bit clearer. Thank you. Bye.